Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an Acer Aspire 3. This is the A315-23 series computer. I'll show you how to get inside, access your speakers if you need to replace them. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip it over to access our bottom case screws. We're gonna take off all the screws on our bottom case. You have these three along this edge, these three along the opposite edge, these two here, these two here, and that one screw there. We're gonna take all those screws out. As a side point guys, this right here is your battery reset pinhole. What you would do is you would press that with a paper clip or other sharp small object. It would reset your battery. You'd let it sit for 30 seconds off uh, and that can help if you're having trouble starting your computer or charging your battery. After the screws have been removed, I'm gonna take my small flat pry tool. I'm gonna to go around the seam and pry up the bottom case from the rest of the computer. If you guys are watching me get in here, you'll notice this is actually very difficult for me to take off. I was concerned for a little while there that there was more screws, but there's not. I had to get my uh, larger pry tool out and I've really got to get it under there and then really crank it sideways to get this bottom case off. It does come off. You don't need to take out more screws, but it was kind of a pain in the butt. Once you have your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, before I touch anything in a computer, I either remove or at least unplug the battery. So I'll show you how to do that now. Your battery is right here. So this battery is really easy to operate. As you can see, there's no additional screws in here. It's just plugged into the motherboard. So I'm gonna peel back this tape that's holding it to some inside components there. Just peel that back. There's some more black tape here that's over the actual battery plug, be careful, but I'm gonna peel that back. Or actually, I'll just remove it. I'll just make sure to remember to put it back on after. And this battery plug is kinda of nice because I don't have to pull on the wires. It's got a grip on either side. So I can use my pry tool or your fingernails and push on this side, push on this side, and that battery plug comes right out. So that's fairly easy to get that battery out. Now, when you have a computer project, it's best to keep the area safe. As you notice, my computer is sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging things in your computer. If you need any help with tools or supplies for your project, there'll be a link above, also below in the description. It'll have a lot of the tools and supplies that I would use on this computer, as well as all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model, they'll all be included in that link. Now that the battery has been removed or at least unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. Your speakers are right here. There's one speaker here and one speaker over here. So the speakers are not actually screwed down. They're just held down over these posts. You can see that just wiggles off right like that. So you can get those off pretty easily. The wire runs down along here, links up to this one, and they plug into the motherboard underneath this ribbon cable right there. So just like your battery, there's a grip on either side. You can use a pry tool or your fingernails and just pull that port right out of the plug. Or I'm sorry, pull the plug <laughs> right out of the port like that. Then you can plug it back in there. And again, I'll try to have some replacement speakers in that link below in the description that I told you about. And I guess last thing to shout out about these speakers, guys, if you're having sound issues, if your sound's not working right, if it's too low, it may be an issue with your speakers or it may be a driver or an update issue. Before you go into your computer and try to mess with the speakers, there'll be a video link above, also below in the description, showing you how to make sure all your drivers are updated, uh, rule out any software, driver, system issues. However, if you are hearing that really nasty sound when your bass kicks in, um, sounds like your speakers are blown, then yeah, that's most likely your speakers, you need to replace them. If you have any questions on this video, check out the FAQs in the description first. It could save you some time getting an answer. But if you need to leave me a question or comment, I do try to get to those at least a couple times a day. Please remember to like and share if this video was helpful, if you think it can help someone else. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer tutorials. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Look forward to seeing you on my next video.